With each painting, I pursue it to the nth degree, as far as I can, with as much universal interest as possible. The same with a horse. If I'm training horses, if I'm riding horses, it's me and that horse, nothing else. Enjoyment of the art comes from many different areas. It is without a doubt a joy to sell a painting to somebody who passionately loves it because it is a common ground of enjoyment. The other thing that is a project of recreating a feeling, a sense of life with a brush and color is truly exciting. And there's only three things my whole life I ever really cared about, and that's riding, roping, and painting. Mike Capron knew he wanted to be a cowboy from the age of five. In high school, he discovered a deep love of painting. After a brief stint in college, Mike followed the pull to be a cowboy and earned a ranching job on an Indian reservation in 1965. He wanted to stay there forever, but was drafted to serve in the Vietnam War. The mid-60s was a um, very traumatic time for an 18-year-old boy that was trying to avoid the draft service and didn't want to go to the war. And I didn't see anything wrong with it, but I just was more passionate about my punching cows and painting at the time. I didn't have anything against the military other than I didn't want to go spend three years of my life at what I call my prime time when I could be riding. At that time, I was really interested in riding and roping. When I went to the Marine Corps, I said, all right, we're gonna make the best of this deal. And they had a program that you could sign up to called the Famous Artist Course. It was beautiful. The best instructors in America were supporting this, and I think it was, oh, I don't remember how much money, but they would send me lessons. I'd do them, send them back to them, the whole three years in the Marine Corps. And so this was a real solid foundation for my drawing, composition, illustration, all of these things. It gave me that basic knowledge of how to compose a painting and make it look real. When he returned home from the war, he married a young woman named Anne. They moved around from ranch to ranch for many years, working as a cowboy while strengthening his skills as an artist. Eventually, they landed in Midland and decided to start their family. Mike chose to focus full time on art and open an art business. His day-to-day -day process in the studio combines traditional approaches and one that is truly unique to the Western lifestyle. I keep six working stations always active. And there will be a painting or a drawing or something in that station in the process of completion. And I may work on it, I may work on it 30 minutes, may work on it two or three hours, may work on it all day. But when it reaches that point of where do I go next, I set it aside so I can evaluate it later. After a certain period of time, you're kind of drained. It's, the sponge is gone. It's like listening to a song over and over and over. It's not long before I, you can't hear it anymore. And so that's when I set them aside, go get to another one, and it freshens me up the minute I move to another one. Then come back to it. Sometimes I can come back to it in 30 minutes. Sometimes it's the next day. But generally speaking, I come back to them daily until I complete them. I, had a saddle in here I was painting one day, and I've ridden so much that my core is developed from riding. And so now I can move around, I'm more mobile when I'm not sitting. And so I will move around and get different angles when I'm painting for as long as I can. And then it'll get to a point where I either gotta go sit down or I gotta go bend, flex, or relax a little bit. And so a lot of times I will go get the saddle because it's so comforting to me. It spreads my legs, it, it gives my hips relaxing, it spreads my body to where I can relax, and it's just back to home sweet home to ride, to ride and roll. The education is paramount with all of it. The horses, the ranch, but focusing very much on painting priority one. I want to take it as far as I can for as long as I can, and I have a goal of past artists, the greats, have inspired me to keep on 
not to follow and not to paint like they do, but to go as far as I can, because I know they did the same thing. I don't want to paint like any one of them, but now I'm enjoying the fact that I'm going, wow, isn't it divinely beautiful that I can do something that is beautiful that's me, that had never been done before. And so now the creativity of the compositions and the storyline, I just want to, I don't have any problem doing it from now on. It's a never ending, constantly, always challenging pursuit. No matter the medium, Mike's love of the cowboy lifestyle and the scenic landscapes of the West will always shine through in his work.